So I just bought the cheapest electric dirt bike on Amazon for 3,500 bucks. Or at least I think it's a dirt bike. You see, they call it a dirty bike because it comes covered in dirt. I think you mean dirt e-bike, like electric bike. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. That, make, that, that explains the lack of mud. And unlike everybody else who has reviewed this thing, I'm not on their payroll. I actually bought the bike myself, so I can say whatever I want, whatever horrible things about it, I can actually tell you guys the truth. <laughs> Safety first. For some reason, this all reminds me of one of my favorite Bob verses, Psalm 119, 114. You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. I think I see why they call it dirty bike. It's got this mouse stuff all over the hamster bed all over the place. I didn't think the box would be holding the, the whole bike up, but I guess. Well, that sucks, Segway. Stupid box design. I better pick this thing up before all the uh, gas and oil drops out. All right, so very, very, very first impressions. It's stupid. They did a bad job boxing it up. Now, I am actually really excited to see how this thing is. I've, I gotta put a lot of this thing together. I need a knife. Now, I don't have a ton of experience with electric motorcycles, but we did prove that the Harley Davidson has a much more, a much longer range than what they claim to have. That was us. We also proved that the most expensive electric motorcycle on Amazon for $10,000 is a total piece of junk and that you can buy it for like 700 bucks on Alibaba. What's this? I'm guessing that's nothing. What is this? It's a fender. Keys. All right, so let's, uh, let's fly. Hold on a second. You like that? You like that? Didn't think I could do that, did you? All right, so let's uh, let's collect all the stuff we got, get all the parts, clean this mess up, put this thing together. Looks like some type of charger. Anyone can have a pocket knife. It takes a real man to have a pocket chainsaw. Also, real men only have nine fingers. It's not the instructions, but it's kind of tells you what everything is. Nine is the disc brakes. Why, why do you need this? Why does this have to be metal? So, uh, here's all the parts that come inside the box. We've got a tire, front tire, little tool kit. Maybe everything I need to put the bike together. 14, 12, couple Allen key sizes, uh, right side foot peg, front fender, battery charger. I'm not sure where this pad actually goes. Uh, some kind of silly looking keys. And then I think these are wheel spacers. It, it does look like most of it is, is put together. Will it run right now if I plug the keys in it? I think this needs to be plugged in. I'm not sure what this does. Does that open it? All right, that opens it. All right, so this is the battery. They talk about the battery saying it's, it's replaceable, it's, it's, it's exchangeable, so you could have another battery with you. The funny thing is, you can't buy this battery on Segway's website. I looked, I tried. I tried pretty hard because I wanted to buy a battery, a backup battery, but then I also wanted to buy, I also wanted to see if the, if the two, because this is the 160. So this is the, uh, the lower, the less powerful one. I think it's got a range of maybe 40 miles. It has a top speed of like 31 miles per hour. The next one up has a range of like 70 miles, 76 miles, and it has a higher top speed of like 46 miles per hour. But all the specs on the bike looked, looked very similar, so I wanted to see if I could just stick a, just jam a 260 battery in there. Apparently no one's tried it because I can't find anything on the internet about it. So I was, I was just gonna buy one and, and do it. I couldn't find any batteries to buy. You can't find them anywhere on the, uh, on the website, even though they, 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 they specifically say you can replace the battery. There it is, it, it, it is very easily replaceable. It's not very heavy I don't know weighs less than 20 pounds so I could see that being replaceable it looks just like the the 260 but that one's just got more uh, more power so I don't know, let's plug this thing in see if it runs right now oh a little battery meter so we have battery All right, deep in here is the throttle and then we'll see if this thing's doing anything is there something else okay no that's just sport and EP what about that little button down here it's a horn so maybe there's like a control in here like a push button that turns it on or off or something like that the brake master cylinder. It's not working now. I mean, what's what's the difference? I'm twisting the throttle. But where's the actual on button? This this is it. This is ignition. That's the actual on button. I don't know. We'll actually take it apart, 
put it together for real and see if it, it worked. I don't know. So with the exception of the aluminum frame and the VIN number, this thing looks very mountain bike-ish. Mountain bike bars, mountain bike forks, mountain bike, you know, tires. But it is some type of weird, goofy, you know, crossover of where does it actually fall in line? Is it a mountain bike or is it a dirt bike? Or is it just a dirty, disgusting bike? And when you consider the price point, it's actually cheaper than some of the high-end electric mountain bikes, you know, that are run with like the Bosch system. Th th those are somewhere around $5,000. But when you, when you actually go to compare this to like an electric dirt bike, like a KTM, you know, you're closer to like eight or $9,000, which is, you know, a lot more than this. Now, so at first glance of this bike, everything about it's stupid and trash and I hate everything about it. But compared to a lot of the, like the, the, the normal, like Chinese Amazon bikes that we've been putting together, I mean, this is, this does look like a quality, a quality piece, although it is junk and I hate everything about it. But also we, we've been putting together motorcycles. So in the realm of bicycles, you buy a bicycle from, from Walmart on the surface, you know, when you put it together, it does look pretty good. And that's, that's a hundred dollar bicycle. You know what I mean? This is a $3,500 bicycle. So it, sh it should look pretty amazing. And a lot of things that the, the bicycle technology is getting into is they're just using motorcycle stuff. The hydraulic disc brakes, you know what I mean? The, the different suspensions, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing on the top of the line bicycles, mountain bikes, they were on motorcycles for the past 50 years. All right, so by now you're wondering, you're like, Sean, why are you so rough with this bike? Why are you giving it such a, you're, you're barely even into it. You're giving it a bad review. Well, I'm excited about this bike. I really am. I really am pumped about it. But about maybe a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, when Segway first started talking about a little bit, a little bit of buzz about this bike, it was never released yet, and it, uh, they may have shown some pictures of it. They contacted us, and they said, we want to sponsor your channel, and you guys can do a review on our bike. And I was like, cool, send five of them over here. Send the baddest, five of your baddest bikes over here, we'll, and we will uh, do a re review about them. And they were like, no, we're not going to do that. I'm like, okay, just send, just send, just send one. S send us one, I'll do, I'll happily do a review about it, you can sponsor the channel. And they were like, nope. And that's when I realized that they just wanted me to just tell people how great their product was. They wanted to pay me to tell people how great their product was without me ever actually trying or seeing if their product was great in the first place. That kind of rubs me the wrong way. Segway, you cannot buy me. I am not for sale. All right, where do you guys think the breaking point of this crummy strap is gonna be? I'm gonna keep on cutting little by little. Still holding. Let's go right to the middle. Still holding. Holy cow, this thing's amazing. I guess I don't know what, how much it's actually holding. Let's just cut the whole thing. Oh, it barely holding anything. That's kind of a cool looking shock. I've never heard of that brand, but it's kind of cool looking. The electric motor's down here. It's got little fins on it. See how the tail's bent? I mean, it's not a big deal, but. I spent 3,500 bucks on a e-bike. You expect the tail to be straighter. Let's see how much sprung weight we have on the forks. Even knife. Hey, listen, Harrison, man, we talked about this. If I, if I, if I ask for anything during the video, you're not supposed to give it to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Kind of mess it, it really confuses people because they don't know where it's coming from because I'm just talking to like them, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just very confusing, so. Do you want me to take it back? No, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. But I, this is mine now. This is, this is super satisfying to cut through. A little confused of what's, what's actually, actually happening with this. There's no bolts in here. I'm not sure how to get that hub out or the axle out. But there is just like a, a mace block to stab you with. Yeah, so here's another question. There's supposed to be four screws that go into here, these bottom pieces, and I've got one. I don't, I don't recall seeing a box of screws unless we throw it away. Segway! Significantly heavier than a mountain bike. Significantly lighter than a dirt bike. Probably exactly what you would expect. All right, so you got this little thing in there that you got to pull out. And this just make sure that you don't grab the, the brakes and, and squeeze the other calipers together, which I would have done. Just stick that little guy in there. Where are the rest of these bolts at? Is it in this bag? That's empty. That's empty. If there was anything that was important, any bolt that was important on this bike, it would be that bolt right, this bolt right here. Because what this does, this clamps, this actually clamps in the axle. Segway! All right, we gotta go find something. Found the right hardware that we needed from Lowe's, and one of these should fit. It's kind of the exact opposite problem that we had with the uh, with our normal Chinese motorcycles. They came with too much, too much extra hardware. This came with no. This didn't even come with enough that we needed. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's a 
That's perfect. So there's a lot of question in my mind about these motorcycles. One, how long is the range? How awesome is it? How much cool stuff can you do? Does it go as fast as it says it will? How fast will it get there? Everyone was like, 12 thumbs up. Uh, that's gotta be something goofy about that. Why can't you find any extra batteries? And can you just stick the 260 battery in here? But also, how do you turn the thing on? Does it even work? <laughs> Look at this. Hold up. I think everyone knows this, but like this, this Segway is a rebranded uh, Suron. I didn't know that it said Suron right here on some of the components, like giantly huge. Even right over here, it says designed by Suron. So for those guys who don't know, Suron also makes a very, 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 very similar uh, vehicle. And they also make this one. So what we gotta do is put the front fender on and this peg. Oh, maybe, I guess they, I guess they, maybe that could be. Why are there holes at different spots? I don't know. Oh, because you can flip them. You can have that on the other side. So they don't have to make two pegs. It's just right. the same peg. That was, it's it. Uh, I don't know what this is for. I ain't gonna read, no, I'm not gonna read a manual for it. It's a sticker though. I'm gonna look at the manual real quick. I kind of want to stick that on something. I wonder if it goes on the bottom of the battery. So when you put it down in there, it's a little softer, but check it out, it shows you how to, you how to tow a Segway with another Segway. I don't think this part of the tail is gonna tow anything. When you transport it, you put it on a tiny, tiny, tiny little truck. So perfect. And then you slam the battery down. Let's see if we'll try to figure this thing out. I think I looked it up, it weighs just over 100 pounds. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so let's get this thing fired up. Key on. It's gotta be, I gotta be missing something. Oh, hold on a second, here's something. There's a main switch that we gotta find near the battery. Oh, look, see? They hide it right down in there, a big main switch. Now this has gotta be the dumbest key design ever. Whether they're supposed to stay together, they're supposed to rip them apart. But like, how do you put it on a keychain? This thing's lit up. I wonder if this actually tracks your total miles being put on the bike. Bicycle would never do that. And then we'll check this out. A little USB. Let's go take it for a spin real quick. All the brakes are up here like a regular uh, mountain bike. You know there's a governor on it? I put sport mode on it. And if you connect it to your phone, right now you'll only be able to go up to 10. When you connect it to your phone and log in, then it says it'll, it'll unlock the rest of it. So apparently I have to download the stupid app and then it can unlock my motorcycle to go faster than 10 miles, a like 9.3 miles an hour after I watch a riding tutorial before you, at that point, they're really like crossing a line where they're clearly not, it's not a, mo it, it's not a motorcycle. If you have to watch a video to get to 30 miles an hour of a tutorial, you know, it's a, uh, it's a child's play toy at that point. Uh, they maybe download an app so I can unlock the rest of the power, which is so stupid. So I, I buy the bike for 3,500 bucks, and if I don't have a cell phone or a smartphone, I only get 30% like of the bike. Yeah, it only, you can only do 10 miles an hour unless you download the app and unlock the rest of the power. But why do they want that? Because they want like your email or something stupid? Yeah. I feel like that definitely is not like, can you do that? Why does my motorcycle or bicycle need a password? Oh, I forgot my password to my bike. Yo, come watch me type in my, my login. I don't, I don't even get to name my bike the name I want because someone already took that name. All right, let's go try it again. I gotta hit that jump as fast as I can. I mean, as soon as I hit that little hill, it just kind of bogged down. All right, there's speed modes. <laughs> High, twisting force, strong. All right, let's see if that makes it any better. Feels a lot better. Oh my gosh, so much better. Now I've got a lot of unanswered questions about this bike. I'm sure you guys do too. Let's go solve them right now. So the Segway claims to have a hundred, a whopping 162 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty impressive. It, it was more torque than the other, than all the other electric bikes that Segway compared it to. Um, maybe that's a coincidence, probably not. Is that enough torque to pull this uh, 7,000 pound van? Let's find out. I won't even bust. It's not even close. 162 foot pounds, nothing. I mean, we pulled this thing with a Trail 90 that had no foot pounds. I'm beginning to wonder what this bike is good for. Because this looks like a bicycle and is so quiet, can I get away with riding this thing places a dirt bike would never be allowed to ride? <laughs> Is 
And the answer is yes. I was able to ride this anywhere and no one cared. If I was on a dirt bike, I would have had the cops called on me. But since I wasn't making any noise or tearing up the grass, I was able to live in harmony with the moms at the park at 10.30 a.m. I was even able to take this thing to college without anyone even noticing me. But the big question on my mind, and I'm sure on your mind is, would a three-year-old like it? I, I like this bike. You like this bike? Yeah. The Segway claims that this thing can get 42 miles on a charge, which is pretty impressive. So I decided to put that to the test. Running the bike at maximum performance, maxing out at 31 miles per hour, it could only do 10 miles before the bike went into slow mode at 10% battery life a quarter of what Segway claimed it could do. So I did it again, but I turned down the power a little bit. So it only maxed out at 19 miles per hour. And this time it got 18 miles before it hit 10% and went in the slow mode. So you might be able to get 42 miles per charge if you're going eight miles an hour, which is super lame and obviously not what I expected. And all this makes the Segway a horrible bike until now. All right, so here's the big problem with this electric bike and pretty much with all electric vehicles. It's what they call range anxiety. It's where you're scared that you're not gonna be able to get to a gas station or a charging port or get to your destination and then back home. But I think I solved that problem right here. This is the first ever electric hybrid motorcycle. It's awesome. It's perfection, 100% perfection. So unlike a lot of electric motorcycles, and I've tried this, this one will actually charge while you're riding the bike. It'll let you ride the bike while it's charging. If you look at my phone, connect to the app, we've got 84% battery life remaining. We got a range of 33.7 miles. Let's go see how many miles we can do on this, uh, on this battery charge. You gotta love that peaceful quietness of an electric motorcycle. You see, this is great because I get the best of both worlds. I get the longevity of a gasoline-powered motorcycle. I also get the quiet and efficientness and, you know, the Prius-ish of an electric bike. I can also drive on the sidewalks where it's safe. So my new gas hybrid modification was awesome and was a 1000% success. Because it was constantly charging, it only takes one minute and 45 seconds to raise the battery one percentage point. So if you stopped enough and drove slow enough, you could ride this thing for forever. And it would even charge while you sleep. Patent pending in your face Segway. So if I gotta give my review on the Segway bike, I'm gonna give it horrible review. 12 thumbs down, but I was able to salvage what they did and make it awesome, creating the greatest electric motorcycle ever made. It's got a big range, so you have no range anxiety. It's electric, so it's quiet. It's eco-friendly and it's super fun. What's there not to love? We'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe. The next time you see that bike, we're probably gonna be challenging it against something. Leave in the comments to see what we should challenge it against. Maybe that? No, behind that. See you guys later.